Now we're gonna install the RAM into our motherboard. We're gonna use a DDR4 2133 megahertz RAM, and we're gonna be installing four modules, and all, collectively those will be 16 gigabyte. Be sure to employ anti-static measures, your anti-static strap, and make sure you keep the RAM inside of the little case or inside of an anti-static bag until you're ready to install it. The first thing we want to do is employ the electrostatic discharge prevention methods. And you know, we want that anti-static strap. We want to have the board on top of an anti-static mat. And before you touch any RAM, be sure to touch some type of grounding object, for example, the uh, metal portion of the case for the computer. Then we ready the motherboard. Now, some techs prefer to install the RAM into the motherboard and then install the motherboard into the case. And that's what we're going to do here just because it's easier to see. And this is a basic example of breadboarding. If you wanted to breadboard the computer, you could install everything here, including the power, before you put this in the case, which can help you to troubleshoot problems during the installation. Otherwise, you could put the motherboard in the case and then install the RAM. You know, it's up to you. A lot of the times you'll do the RAM before the CPU. It all depends on the scenario with the computer. I have two technical tips for you about DDR4 RAM. First of all, when you install the RAM, make sure that you press down with both thumbs on the top of the RAM module using equal pressure until you hear the RAM click into place. The second thing is DDR4 has some beveled edges on the bottom. They, they act as rockers and you can rock the RAM back and forth a little bit if you need to remove the RAM later on. But when you install the RAM, you want to press straight down with both thumbs until it clicks into place. Uh, what we're going to do is we're going to take a stick of RAM after I uh, ground myself. We'll grab a stick of RAM here and notice I'm holding it from the edges. And we're going to install that into one of the slots. The slots we're going to use are the lighter gray slots. And that's these here. And to do that, we're first going to move the ear. So we'll move the ear for this guy and unlock it. And if you're dealing with DDR3 or DDR2, there's ears on both sides that you need to unlock. For DDR4, there's just the one. Then we need to orient this RAM properly. Orientation is key. It will not install this way because the notch does not light up, uh, line up, excuse me. So we'll flip it over and we'll put this into the slot and we'll push down one finger on each side with equal pressure until it snaps into place. And you could hear that probably and the ear locked. And we'll put the second one in here. Open the ear. Put the RAM stick into the slot. Press down with equal pressure until it snaps and it's in. Now, if we were to stop here, this would work. These are two identical RAM sticks, four gigabytes each, giving us a total of eight. And they would function, but it would only function in a dual channel manner. In order to use the quad channel that we can have for this uh, computer, we need to use all four of the gray slots, or the light gray slots, I should say. So I'm going to install the rest of those now. And this time, you'll note that the orientation has to be flipped because the notch is farther over. These RAM slots are flipped around 180 degrees. So we're going to do it that way with the chips facing us this time. Open the ear. Put this guy in the slot, press down till it snaps. And we'll do that for the last one. Open the ear, press down until it snaps. And now we have a quad channel installation complete. Very easy to install the RAM, but will it work? Well, we won't know that until we actually fire up the system and check the uh, BIOS codes, but it should work. I've checked and made sure that the RAM is compatible. 
it fits, it meets the requirements for speed and voltage, and uh, it's set up properly as a quad channel installation. So we'll be able to have 16 gigabytes of RAM, because it's four gig each, working as a quad channel. And if we wanted to, later, we could add another 16 gigabytes into the darker gray slots. And so uh, that's a possibility as well. And so there you have it. There's the RAM installation. When you're done, uh, you can install the motherboard into the case or move on to the CPU or do whatever you have to do that's next. But uh, now the RAM is done and that wraps up this lesson on RAM and I hope you enjoyed it.